Hello everyone and welcome to another building tutorial. Today I'm going to walk you through how to create this very simple little boat that is perfect for any Minecraft world. It fits amazingly in rivers, ponds, out in the ocean, literally wherever you want it and it's super quick to build so let's get to it. All right, here are the blocks that we are going to need. It's time to get to work on this little boat. The first thing I want to note is your water level. Your boat is going to be about four blocks high in some areas, but the water level is going to be right on this level. So I want you to imagine as I'm building that, that this is your water level. So we're going to be starting off by going below the water level and placing seven blocks across. This will be the very bottom of your boat. And as you can see, it's nice and underwater. I will leave a few pictures on screen to kind of demonstrate where you're going to want this water line. So in case you're building along with me in the actual water, you'll hopefully be able to follow it. Next up, we're going to come up on each side. In the back of our ship, we're going to go up by two and in the front, we're going to go up by one and then over and out by two. Then we're going to continue to staircase this up just like so. In the back, we're going to come out one and go up by two again. These points will end up being the highest point of our little boat here. Now we can start flushing it out. Starting with this area here, we're actually going to just build right off of that and come all the way to the back on both sides. Going to do that again, creating a double layer here. This will just make it a little bit easier for when we're smoothing things out with slabs and stairs. This layer is going to pop out to fill in that little gap by one block. There we go. And then we're going to come out again, this time not going all the way backwards, just by five blocks right in the center. So we have two blocks, two blocks, five blocks, and then one and one. Going to do that on both sides. And here is our top down view at the moment. In the back here, we're going to want to build this out more. I'm going to place a block on either side, just like so. And then one in from that, creating a higher back area than a front area. I'm also going to use stairs to put along each side of this very back wall. I'm going to continue these blocks forward by two, just like so. In the front here, we're going to put two slabs right on the tip of the ship's nose, like so. Then on each end, once again, two slabs. On the back here, we're going to continue the slabs along, going all the way along this entire edge. And then up in the front, we're going to again do two slabs. Underneath where we just put these two slabs, or this could also just be a plank, we are going to put a stair. We're also going to delete this full block right here and replace that with a stair. Then you can notice we have this little gap here. We're going to fill that in with a simple slab. Then to connect the entire thing together, top this off to make it all the same height up in the front. Out back, we're going to raise it up again by one slab in each of these corners. Down at the bottom of the hole, we can also place a rudder down here if we would like one. Sometimes I like to do this in dark oak if you want, and if you're actually in the water, you can place another stair in under that to get more of the effect. In order to smooth out the slightly clunky backside, I'm going to delete this block here right in the corner and replace it with a stair on either side. And then this block right here and replace it with a stair. Because this is such a small size, adding in these stairs and slabs really helps to smooth it. Once again, to help with that smoothing, I'm going to come to the kind of near the center here of these four blocks that I have with stairs on either side, and I'm gonna place two slabs. Then right below that, I'm going to place three steps. I'll do that on either side, and that is just to give this a little bit better of a curve. Now that this is done, we can fill in the center of our ship just to give us a nice floor to walk around on. If you're curious, this is the top-down view of the ship now. At this point, I'm going to take my oak log or whatever block you have chosen and go to the back to start creating the first part of my sail. Two blocks from the back, I'm going to build this up. I went 10 blocks high for mine. And then in the front, once again, we're just going to build this one up by four. We're going to connect these two logs together by staircasing some stairs as sort of makeshift ropes between them. On the inside, we're going to bring these fences all the way down. Now it's time to begin on the sail. Don't worry if your blocks aren't in the exact same place that mine are in this process. This is a pretty organic shape and it's very forgiving. It may be hard to follow along block by block for this part because I'm going to be breaking and destroying a lot, but I'll do my best to describe what I'm doing. I'm going to start on this longer pillar here and just sort of build up a general nice shape all the way to the top of that fence. 
Then I'm going to kind of create my inner area here by staircasing that down just above that fence pattern that I had put before. I'm going to bring this all the way down past this first log, and I'm going to actually connect it over here to the front of my ship by placing one backwards. Just like so. Then I'm going to come out from this original spot and build up three blocks. I'm going to kind of fill in these gaps that are missing first. And then put that one just for good measure. Then I'm going to come out again to make it really look like it's nice and curvy and catching the wind and do another set. For this one, to make it curve in and connect better, I'll do this bottom block in one. This connection right here looks a little awkward to me, so I'm going to place two more blocks and see how that looks. Yeah, it, it's not too bad. I do think, however, it's not quite tall enough. So on top of these blocks here, I'm going to go up, just raising up the entire pattern a little bit. If you don't want to waste blocks, you can then go ahead on the inside and kind of break all of these extra ones that have been placed. Make sure they're not actually needed. I want this to wrap around to the back side and connect here as well. So I'm going to place some stairs on top of this back of the ship and kind of try and curve my sail over this area. Remember, I don't want to have any big flat areas like this, so whenever I see one, I'm kind of just going to try to curve it in a little bit. There we go, that's looking much better. Now we can shade this. You have a couple of choices to do here. I'm going to be doing some concrete powder on the top edges, uh, just as sort of a little bit of a highlight. It changes up the texturing a little bit, but obviously this is concrete powder, so I can't place it everywhere. On the underside where I want it to be darker, I'm going to use concrete for more of that grayish white tone. Hopefully this will make it look more shadowed and give it the illusion that there's more shape there than there actually is. There you have it. Up at the top here, I'm going to add sort of a little almost crow's nest. I'm going to use my spruce trap doors that I have over here. Didn't realize I had them in my inventory. Kind of fold them in around this area. And then if you wanted, you could put a flag on top. But for me, that makes it a little bit on the busy side. So I'm going to be leaving mine exactly like that. Back here is where you're going to want your steering wheel to be. You can do this with armor stands, or if you don't have the, any armor stands available, a trapdoor also works just fine. We are also going to want to continue our fencing along here to make it look like it's generally <laughs> connected together. There we go, that's much better. Maybe we could also raise some of this up, just, just to kind of match what's going on, you know? Now it's time to decorate. You can have your little boat carrying whatever you please. I'm going to use some barrels and maybe a cartography table and that should probably do it. There's also a little bit of space down below if you wanted to hide something down here, maybe do like a secret door with those trap doors that make you crawl. That could be really fun. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. And once again, let me remind you, the water level that I imagine on a ship like this is about right here. So if you've built this in actual water, it'll look something like this. Anyways guys, that is it for me. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and gotten some use out of it. Definitely show me your builds when you finish them. I cannot wait to see you add this little ship asset to all of your lovely builds. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye everyone!